On September 2023, the Nigerian Securities and Exchange Commission, SEE, placed a disclaimer on Binance Nigeria Limited, stating that the platform was neither registered nor regulated by the Commission, so its operation in Nigeria are therefore declared illegal. They also declared that Binance lacked the authorization to buy and sell securities in the nation and also cautioned citizens to desist from using the platform. Binance was also warned that if they failed to rectify this issue by February 2024, its operation in Nigeria will be blocked. I am a great Binance user and yes, this is February 2024 and the ban slash limit hit hard on several Nigerian Binance users. Now you can still log into Binance from Nigeria and you can still view your account and view your wallet and look at what you have in there, but you may not be able to carry out major operations like before. Okay. Now I tried sending out for me personally, I tried sending out some money I had on Binance after the ban and I was getting an error message. You, you're going to see an error message, whatever error message, sometimes connection error, whatever error message. and it won't allow you to just send out to another user. Some people also complained of some sort of limits on their P2P. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily send out your funds or withdraw your funds from Binance. Now, there are two major ways for you to do this. And the first method involves you spending some money. Okay, why the second method is free. You don't have to spend anything. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the second one later in this video. So I recommend you keep watching. Now, the first method involves you using a VPN. And I know you must have heard a lot of people talk about this here on YouTube and other social media platforms. But I must have to warn you that if you dare try to use a free VPN, you may have your Binance banned permanently. Okay, and of course, you know, Binance is not just what you open or reopen. You can only have one Binance account to your name. Okay, now if you want to use a VPN, if you must have to use a VPN, you have to go for the paid version, the premium version. Even when you get the premium version, you must not connect to US while logging into Binance because Binance is banned in the US too. Okay, so when you pay the premium version, when you pay for the premium version of any VPN, okay, I'm not recommending anyone. This is not a sponsored video. So you can just choose from any VPN you want. And when you pay for it, please do not connect to us while logging in to binance okay you can use other places other african countries okay cameroon ghana you, or you can use uk you can use europe you know lutania germany norway other countries and you can successfully do your operations okay but now the issue now lies in how much is the premium version of most good vpn now for a good vpn on the average you can have 15 dollars per month that's about 25,000 Naira per month for a good VPN. But it can get cheaper when you want to pay per year, when you can now start paying about $6 or $7 per year, making you pay about $83 to $85 at once for a year, which is uh, with the current uh, conversion rate should be around 135,000 Naira. Okay, also. And some people are not just willing to spend that kind of money right now, judging with uh, the situation of the country. Okay, so the first option, like I said before, use a VPN, get the premium version, pay for it either monthly or yearly, or you can pay for two years, it gets cheaper along the line, and then do not connect to US while logging into Binance. Then this is the second method. The second method was actually what I used. And what did I do? I just told a friend of mine who is in Cameroon to log into my Binance. And then I went to KuCoin, got another wallet, another USDT wallet or BNB wallet, anyone you want, sent to him and he can from there send to your KuCoin. Okay, or any other platform that you want to join into. So now shout out to Alex. I contacted Alex and told Alex, okay, please log into my Binance account. I give him my password and my email and then OTP came. I sent him OTP. He logged into my Binance. Everything was working perfectly well. I generated an address from KuCoin sends to him and he would read to my KuCoin and it went successfully. Now, I also have to warn you that in as much as this one is the free way for you to do this, you must have to know that this is risky. Meaning that if you give someone your, your login, your password, your email and OTP, anything can happen to your phones or even your account. Your account can be hijacked. Your phones can be taken away if the person is dubious. So if you want to use this method, make sure that the, whomever you want to contact to help you withdraw your funds or send out your funds from Binance is someone that is trustworthy. Now, please note that for this second method, you must not have someone in Cameroon. You can have someone in Ghana, in UK, in Norway, any other country at all that Binance is not banding. Okay. So the person can just log in from there and assess your account and send out the funds to another wallet that you provide. But just make sure that the person, just like I said before, 
is a trusted or a trustworthy person so that you do not lose your accounts nor lose your funds so i said just drop this quick update for anyone that is having any difficulties bringing out their money on binance okay instead of you to just go to p2p and sell it off as cheap as possible you can as well use this method and get your money to cool coin where you can still sell your funds at black market rates then lastly this is still a, a quick warning or like a quick uh, a wake-up call sort of to everyone who is working online and uh, any legitimate passive income online for you to diversify okay if a big giant like binance can just get limited in nigeria you know 200, 230 million people i know not everyone uses binance but nigeria is is a big market if the government can actually bring it down this is a wake up call that whatever you are doing diversification is key okay don't just put all your coins in one basket don't just put all your cryptos in one platform spread them out and sign up on several platforms do several businesses so even if one gets shut down the rest can keep you afloat thank you so much for watching till this point i hope you gained value if you enjoyed this one give me a thumbs up if you did not smash this like two times and tell me why in the comment section thanks once more for watching stay tuned and i'll see you in my next video